Hey everybody, well welcome to the first ride of the Lexmoto Michigan 125cc. This isn't a review, uh, I'll be doing that much later in a few weeks because I'll have this for a long while. Uh, I'll be doing a multitude of different things with this bike, but a few th possibilities of stuff that's going to go on with it, but I'll, I'll talk about that in later videos. The next video will be the top speed run, but this one is literally just the, let's have a very quick look over it and then have a quick ride around. The last bike I reviewed was the UM Renegade Commando, did a load of stuff on that. Um, and I thought, because cruisers aren't normally my sort of thing, as I'd just done the UM and I kind of fell in love with the little thing, big thing, uh, it made sense to do them back to back to go for the Michigan. Um, this is also sold under another name as the Sinis Hoodlum. It's basically the same bike underneath. Uh, so that is something to be aware of. That does happen with some Chinese bikes. And if you want to know why that all happens, well, um, I have a multitude of videos talking about Chinese motorcycles and how it all works. So yeah, 125cc, fuel injected, blah, 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 blah. That's all you really need to know. It is more of a choppery style with the position of the handlebars. Oh, try some slow control. Oh, this this is this is beautifully easy. Oh, not so good to the left. I love the feel of the handling on this it's i know it's because of the very thin tires the relatively large looking front wheel i i, I need to check the sizing on that it, that'll be in the review this is just more about feel it's so flicky oh engine braking oh so close to scraping the foot well i know it's not a peg it's it's a, like a board Plate. I don't know what you're going to call it. <laughs> can I scrape the plate? <gasps> yep, yep, I can. Sorry, Lex Moto, I had to. I had to find out how far. Oh. <laughs> Now that's something I never managed to do on the UM. I never managed to actually scrape the foot pegs. I got way over there, but I just never scraped them. It had a little bit more clear um, ground clearance, and it, the pegs were definitely higher up. Now let's see, left one. Yeah, it, you do that dunk. Okay, so you really can't lean it all that far. Oh! Firm suspension, just like the UM. I, sh I shouldn't be reviewing it, I'm supposed to be just messing around. Oh! That was toy, that was toy like a toyga. I'm supposed to be doing that Dutch accent, but it's gone a bit south of freaking. I'm sorry. Freaking bronze. Oh! Woohoo! Oh, the, oh I, I'm... Oh! <laughs> this has got the fun of the... Oh! I was just explaining how much I enjoy this bike. Oh. It's... Yeah, the suspension's very tough. And if you sit out of the seat to try and reduce that, but then the bike comes up and you meet in the middle, it can slap you right in the... That was unpleasant. I can tell you already, I'm going to have a lot of fun on this. This is going to produce some funny videos. <laughs> Careful with your dipping your tip there, mate. You don't want to get that in front of that car. You don't want the end of your rod taken off. Get a, get a snagged eye or something. No one wants a snagged eye. <laughs> oh God, snagged eye. <laughs> so come on then, what would you like to see me do on this? What are your requests? 
going back to the UM, as you know, that thing weighed 180 kilos. This is quite a lot less. I'll put it on the screen because I don't know offhand. I'm going to guess 130. How close was I? That one. Yes, you see, it was mine, and now it is yours. <laughs> Enjoy it in your face. Oh, this has got incredibly firm rear suspension. Like, it's got some bounce to it, but when it comes to, like, shock impacts, you just get them. Bang. Which does make the handling feel quite nice. As long as you're not going over, over anything too bumpy. Piggy is sleeping. I will not disturb them. I think this might have non-standard switch gear, like these being silver. I'm not entirely sure about that. Howdy! It's just, it's just missing that soundtrack. With a bigger bite. <laughs> this little thing already <laughs> I don't really like the look of cruisers and I'll be honest I prefer the look of the UM than I do this this is very choppery with its big massive bars but you can kind of understand why it's like this I think my regular viewers will know exactly where I'm going right now these little tests although it might seem like I'm just messing around actually do tell me a lot because I do them on all the different bikes Very, very stiff suspension. I think it might actually be firmer than the UM is. It's like in the sand. Oh, it's got very thin tyres, so it digs. Oh, it's perfect for riding like the Queen there. Mm, one race like the Queen! <laughs> this is a very old joke! And sadly, it was at this point that my camera corrupted the file, and I don't have any more to show you from this ride, but I think you can see I was having a bit of fun. Huge thanks to my Patreon supporters, and I'll catch you in the next one, which will be the top speed run. If you enjoyed this video and the other content on the channel, please consider following the links in the description to show your support.